Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to enable the 2FA on Kick in 2024. So today, we're enhancing the security of your Kick account by enabling the two-factor authentication. With 2FA, you'll add an extra layer of protection to your account, ensuring your conversations and personal information stay secured. So join me as I walk you through the steps of enabling 2FA on Kick in 2024 and let's keep your messaging experience safe and streaming. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll have to go and open your Kick account. To do so, go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. In my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser and of course in your case it could be any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, basically just go to this URL section, type kick.com and hit the enter button. This should take you into the home screen or main screen of Kick right away. So if you have an account, just go and click on login to login into your account right away. And you can log in with Google or Apple if you don't want to get through all the boring steps of creating or even logging into your account. As you can see, if you click on sign up, you'll be able even to use that. So for me, I'll just go here and log in into my account right away. As simple as that, click continue to give permissions. And yeah, I'm logged in now into my account. So once I'm logged in into my account, I'll basically have to go to the top right corner, icon profile, and just go and click on that. And then make sure to go and click on settings. That will let you access your settings right away. What we'll need to do, go to this left panel and you will find your settings. So just go and click on security tab. Once you click on it, you'll find yourself here. You'll find your password. You'll be able to change it if you want to. And you'll find this two-factor authentication that is not enabled yet by my account. So by setting up two-factor authentication, it provides more security for your account. So if you want to enable it, just simply go and click on enable 2FA right away. So as you can see, it's a two steps process. So scan this QR code with any authenticator application that you have. As you can see, a QR code or enter this code below if you wanna do it manually or if you don't have a camera or if you're using an extension as an authenticator app, whatever you want. For me as an example, or in my case, I'm actually using like the Google authenticator app for uh, this process. So I'll just go and access Google authenticator app in my phone once I open it, I'll find the plus button at the bottom right corner. I'll just simply click on that. There, I'll find scan QR code or enter a setup key. So I have two options. I can scan this QR code right here or copy this setup key that is provided right here. As you can see, if I quit and come back, it will change. So as an example, if I click on enter a setup key, I'll find the page where I'll have to give it a name, a label name, and then I'll have to enter the key that is provided here. And then finally, uh, the type of the key is time-based or counter-based. Just list it time-based and then click on add. Or instead, you can simply click on plus and click on scan QR code and scan the QR code that is there. Once it's scanned, you'll find another uh, code there added and recycled every 20 seconds or 25 seconds or something like that. So you'll have, once you scan this code, click on continue setup and enter the code that is provided by this authenticator app uh, for me, I'm using my phone, so I'll check it from my phone. So my code is 941735. No need to save your code that is provided to you because it will change like constantly every 20 seconds or so. So as you can see now, it's enabled in my Kick account. If I go as an example and try to go to kick.com and try to log in into my account, of course, like, let me just go here to the normal one and simply go back to kick.com, click in here and click on logout. I wanna log out into my account. So now I logged out and simply, I'll just go back and click on login and click on Google, login with Google and click on my account in here and check. Of course, I guess like they log me in right away. Why? Because I have like some cash that's they know that I'm recently logged in into this browser. But if you're trying to log in with another device, they will ask you for the code provided by your 2FA or 2 authenticator app. So you'll have to enter the code that is, as I said, constantly changing on your uh, authenticator app that I'm using in my phone, which is authentic uh, Google Authenticator. For you, you can use other options, of course. And of course, I'll have to enter that code 
and I'll be good to go. If I want to remove it, I'll basically have to go back to settings, security, click on remove FA. As you can see, are you sure you want to remove it from your account? Click yes, I'm sure. And you'll have to go to your Google Authenticator and simply uh, click on it or hold the kick option and click on delete. You'll find this at the top right corner. You'll find remove kick from my account. Removing this account will remove the ability to generate code. However, it will not turn off two-factor authentication and this might prevent you from signing into your account. Before removing, turn off the two-factor authentication on this account or ensure that you have alternative mechanisms to generate your code. So just click on remove my account because I disable it so I don't have to worry about this side anymore. So now once you enable it, you have an extra a layer of security on your kick account and if try if someone tried to log into your account even if he, he got your password and username and email and everything you will not be able to enable uh, to log into your account unless he have this 2fa or two-factor authentication and of course this code you will have it only on your phone so now once you add it you can of course disable this or enable whatever you want and you'll be good to go so there you have it you successfully enabled the two-factor authentication on your Kick account in 2024. With 2FA activated, or the, uh, of course, your account is better protected against any unauthorized access. And ensuring your conversations, your stream uh, history uh, remains private and secure. And so that will keep even your messaging experience safe and stream safe and everything safe. So everything that's provided by Kick. Uh, so that will be safe of course by staying vigilant and enabling the 2fa so make sure to enable that 2fa on any other platforms that you have also as well like uh, twitch like a lot of other platforms that you've already made a videos uh, a lot of videos about that you can go and check it out by your, your own and my channel or in this channel so happy chatting or happy streaming and have, stay safe online and of course if you have any questions or there is a specific topic that you would like me to cover in the next tutorial just drop it down below in the comment section and i'll try to do it as soon as possible of course if you like this video also uh, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to our channel for more helpful tutorials like this one this will help a lot and i appreciate it so that's going to be it for me today. Of course, if you have any issues, you don't want to wait for me to respond into your comment. You can simply connect or contact the support of Kick. You will be able to. It's going to be be simple. So you'll be able to click on these three dots, click on help and support, and you'll be able to access the support of them and contact them. So that's going to be it for me today. Goodbye, and I'll catch you in the next video.